Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the weekend reading. This will be from today, Friday, December the 28th through Sunday, December the 30th. This is general, guys. All right. Only take the message if it resonates with you. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You guys know I love you. I tell you guys in every reading, sending lots of love your way. Mwah. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. You guys know I couldn't ask for better subscribers. We only got a few more days into the new year, guys. So, all I'm asking is for you guys to be very positive. Think, be, and speak positive these last few days of the year. Make sure that you guys are doing um, your affirmations, are putting up affirmations, showing gratitude to the universe every day, all right? So, if not every day, every other day. If not, just at least write a list out at the end of the week and let the universe know what you do appreciate. So, show your gratitude, guys, before the end of the year so that you guys can manifest that shit and start a new year with blessings and a lot of positive energy coming in, okay? So, let's hop into this reading and let's see what we got, guys. If you guys do want to book with me, you guys can go on my website, fireintuition.com. I'm also on Instant Go as fire underscore intuition. Instant go, people. I'm super sorry. I'm coming. I promise. All right. So let's hop into the reading. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what's coming in for the weekend. Again, this is for all signs. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. So let's see what is coming in for us this weekend. We have the strength card. Love it. The five of wands. We have the four of cups. What is coming in for us this weekend? Let's see. We have the Three of Swords. Love it. You guys are coming out of some type of heartbreak. Freaking love it. Coming out of heartbreak for sure. We have the strength card starting out. That's you guys being strong. Okay? You guys learned a valuable lesson. For a lot of you guys, you learned how to love yourself first. You learned how to put yourself first. The strength card and what I'm seeing in this, it's all about unconditional love. It's about self-love, self-respect, loving yourself, nurturing yourself, putting yourself first. Finding that inner strength and confidence, being compassionate with yourself first before others, and not always being compassionate to other people and, and showing sympathy and always having empathy for others and just loving people unconditionally and being over supportive, which is not a bad thing. But a lot of you guys forgot to do that with yourself with the strength card coming out first because we have the five of wands. This is you guys dealing with some type of inner conflict. You're like, I'm doing all of this. I'm offering all of this to this person or to these people, and I'm still not getting anywhere. So the four of cups is you feeling still rejected, kind of feeling lost, lonely, sad. But this is you no longer putting limits, no longer putting yourself down with that four of cups, no longer sitting in that rejection or sitting in that loneliness or being isolated anymore. Okay, you don't want to feel empty inside anymore. So we have this three of swords. The three of swords is, yeah, it's heartbreak, it's pain. You know, but I feel like this is you guys freeing yourself or you're letting that past hurt be gone because you see it got you nowhere. We have the Ten of Pentacles. A Ten is an ending. It's a completion. So for some of you guys, yeah, you did have a strong emotional bond with that person. You really love that person. But the space between you guys brought growth within you and you're seeing things totally different now. So, um, yeah, let's see what else we got. Loving the energy for today. Well, for the weekend, we have the Two of Swords coming out of some type of stalemate. Because it's under the strength card. I'm going to move the cards over one second. Love the energy. We have the king of swords. Thinking clearly. Four of swords. Hell yeah. Fucking love it. Three of pentacles. Yeah. Love it. Love it. We have the death card. Not the death. We have the devil. That was at the bottom of the deck. But I love that because it's letting me know that with the devil being there, you guys are coming out of that. Like, you know, you're coming out of feeling tied and bound and chained to someone. Soulmate energy. You guys learned a valuable lesson in a soulmate relationship. For some of you guys, it was karmic. For some of you guys, there was a lesson that needed to be learned with both of you. But for most of you, it was from within. And then that's going to allow this relationship to kind of move and shift. Yeah, see, look, the her the higher fine. I said the hermit, the higher fine. Some of you guys are going to eat a cup that ass and walk away and go towards your 10th cup. Because this is you releasing the emotional baggage. Going into some type of commitment. A new soulmate coming in. 
Um, the other person that you guys are dealing with, this person is, they're having regrets. They regret that they walked away from this situation. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. Someone's very much in their head. We have judgment. Someone regrets a decision that they made. But it's like this person is only going to realize it once you guys have done the work. So like now that you guys are freeing yourself, you're letting go, you're walking away, you're releasing the emotional baggage, it's going to boom. Like they're going to have a tower moment. Like they're going to get some aha moment. And that's when they're going to start re realizing like, damn, like I really messed this up. Like, damn, I really made a mistake. For some of you guys, I feel as if they're realizing it now, even before. But there was something that you had to do from within to make them realize because I'm in, you know, I love you guys. We all do this, but it's like, you guys kept going back to the person. You kept allowing the person back in. You kept accepting them back in. Um, patterns were repeating issues or multiplying, you know, and it got to the point where you wanted something more, you know, four swords. It's like every time, you know, I told you that when I see the four swords, this person is laying down there, you know, they have their sword and their hands are up. But this is, to me, I feel like this was you guys praying, like, universe, bring us back together. Please work work this out. Make this work out. Please fix this situation. And I feel like the universe was telling you, like, no, I need you to be strong. You know, with the strength card, I need you to overcome this. You know, stop praying for you guys to come together. Pray for you to heal and become your own person so that you guys could come together, so that they can do their work, so that you guys can both do the work. Because whatever they're doing to you, whatever they were doing to hurt you, that's what you are mirroring, okay? In this soulmate connection. So if this person was always lying to you, that means you were always deceiving yourself. If this person was always manipulating you, then you were overly emotional. It just all depends on the situation and what was going on. Okay, so I see a lot of different energy here, but I love it because with the strength card and the two of swords, you guys are coming out of some type of stalemate here. You guys are facing your true feelings. You're being honest with yourself. You're like, you know what? I got to be better than this. I have to be stronger than this. Or you're telling yourself like, I'm better than this. I'm stronger than this. I deserve better. You know, this person knows you deserve better. They know you deserve better. Okay, and we have the five of wands, king of swords. There definitely was some manipulation. Could have been from... An Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the five of wands here. This is you dealing with the inner conflict of this person. This person manipulated your mind, said things, destroyed your mind, treated you like shit for some of you guys. And it's all because they were a shitty person on the inside. They didn't love themselves. But now that you love yourself and you're the strength card, three of swords, you're releasing yourself, freeing yourself from this. They know energetically that they cannot come towards you on no BS. They know energetically that you have done the work. The strength card is the first card out. Love it. Freaking love it. It's amazing. Love it. So we have this four cups. We have the four swords. You're laying that to rest. They no longer can make you sad. For some of you guys, I feel like there's a little bit left, you know, where like if this person communicates, if they talk to you, if you're around them, whatever it is, it's like you got a little bit of pain still there. But with the four swords being here, like I said, I really feel like you guys are just like, you know what? This relationship exhausted me. It didn't get me nowhere. I prayed to the heavens, to the earth, to archangels, everything. And I was still left in the same position. But the reason why was because you had to do something very important. Your heart was more important than anything in this situation. You were more important than anything else in this situation. Three of swords. And once you guys heal that, free yourself. Because you did what? You did the work. Shrimp card. We built your self-esteem up. For some of you guys, it wasn't that. But this is you guys is really putting yourself first, really doing the work. And we have this three of pentacles here. For some of you guys, I feel as if this situation drove you to the point where you guys needed counseling, you guys needed help. And I'm not saying it in a, in a bad way, like, oh, you guys need help. You're crazy. Everybody, I mean, a counselor to me, going to a therapist, that's someone to talk to. That's a stranger, someone that doesn't know you, you know, someone that... You can speak free to that has no idea what you've been through, what you experienced, anything. You're just sitting there, you're talking to someone. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you guys, you know, were talking to people, maybe the wrong people. And it wasn't helping you guys heal the situation. For some of you guys, they were dealing and talking to the wrong people. And it was definitely not helping or healing the situation. But the three of pentacles in this three of swords here is telling me like, for one, there was an interference. I definitely feel like that. Okay, someone definitely was between you guys. But... This is someone putting the work in with this three of pentacles here. This is someone putting the work in. This is someone taking action. 
This is someone taking action because they don't want to sit in a broken heart anymore. This is someone taking action because they don't want to sit in sorrow and pain anymore. Um, why is this three of pentacles here? Yeah, see, justice. I knew it. I Thank you, spirit, for coming through. Okay? So, justice. This was you being honest with yourself. And you guys could have been dealing with a Libra because we have the King of Swords here. I feel like it just got to a point where you guys were like, you know what? I need to be honest with myself because that's the only way that I'm going to get justice in this situation. That's the only way that things are going to move forward in my life if I be honest with myself and see the relationship or the situation for what it really is. Yes, I love this person. Yes, this person broke my heart. This person did damage to me. But I need to make things fair and just for me. Okay? And that's why justice is here. You're doing the work. All right? So let's look at this strength card. Yes, yeah, so the seven of pentacles. You fully invested in yourself. But you invested so much in that relationship, it's like you took it all back. Okay? No, you're not an Indian giver, but it's like whatever you invested in that relationship, you fully invested back into yourself. Seven of pentacles in that strength card. So this is you fully investing back into yourself, making yourself happy. And now you're at the point where you're like, does this relationship really make me happy? Should I keep investing? Why was I investing? What was I investing in this relationship? So we have this three of swords and look what we have. The sun card. I cannot make it up. I can't make this shit up, guys. Look what we have. The sun card with the three of swords. This is you happy as hell now. The sun is beautiful energy. The sun is like healing. This is growth, success. This is you back confident. This is power. This is positive energy, positive vibes. So you guys are definitely healing and doing a lot of work. Okay, so definitely love it. We're going to clarify with the other deck in one second. Why is this King of Swords here? Yes, you guys are dealing with someone that was childish, that kept clashing with you, okay, where there was a lot of deception here, okay? could have been, You could have been dealing with someone that was younger, or they could have been older, but acted like a child, all right? Now, looking at, look at it from their view and how I'm seeing it from their side, someone had some issues deep down inside, Okay, it started as a child, the sun card, three of swords. You guys are dealing with someone that came from an unhappy home. Okay, we have the sun card, so it could have been from birth that this person was dealing with issues. Okay, not trying to be funny, not saying at birth, like, oh, day one, day two, they had issues. But as a child, from as far back as they could remember with the sun card, three of swords, this person has always been broken. And this person with this three of pentacles and the justice card has felt like no matter what they've done, things were never fair. Okay, in their life. They never got what they wanted. So this would be you dating someone and you're like, oh yeah, every year for Christmas, you know, me and my family get together. We exchange gifts. We do like $50 gift cards. You know, I spend $1,000 on the kids or whatever. I'm just making up something. And this would be the person like, oh yeah, I was lucky if I got socks for Christmas. That kind of energy. And it's like when you guys were even dating and you guys were together... I feel as if with that three of swords and that sun card, you try to do whatever you could to make them happy. Whatever you could. So, for example, say if they told you, oh, I've never been to a concert before or I've never traveled out of state. That would have been you, strength card, seven of pentacles, investing in that. Making that person happy. Making that person experience and seeing things in your life the way you've seen them. But this person is manipulative in a way that they're taking it for granted and not appreciating it and being manipulative, but they don't know any better because they've never had it. And it destroyed some of you guys and it hurt your feelings a lot because you guys were in this situation like, damn, I'm with someone that's ungrateful. They don't appreciate me. Five of Wands, I'm fighting for their love and attention. I'm giving them everything they want. They just keep letting me down. Four of Cups, you know, why is it that the more I do, the more they put me down? So, for some of you guys, you guys just got to a point where you're like, damn, if I'm doing them good or not, I'm not getting anything, you know, in return. So, this could be like a situation where, for example, it could be something very small. Like, say, if you go to a restaurant and you know, like, they, like, for example, say... If you go to Dunkin' Donuts and you know they love maple frosted, which I do, guys, and they love the maple frosted donut. And you're just going there for yourself. But every time you go to Dunkin' Donuts, regardless if they ask you or not, regardless if they want it or not, regardless if that damn donut sits on the counter for three days and they never eat it, you always will get them something because you knew that, for one, they loved it, you know, and you wanted to make that person happy. Okay? So, what I'm trying to get at is that, say if you went to the Dunkin' Donuts and you came back and you didn't bring a donut, then this person like, damn, I can't even get a donut? You just forgot about me. Usually you always bring me donuts. 
Or you always get me a donut. So what makes you not want to get me one this time? You know? So it's like you guys just couldn't win for losing. So this person was broken. This person wasn't happy. You guys came from different lifestyles, different upbringings. With justice, it's like this person, you know, did things. They didn't realize what they were doing. Some of them did. You know, and I'm not taking their side. Hell no. So with justice, and the only reason why I said that is because this person is not used to people, you know, having the, their back with justice and the three of pinnacles. They're not used to somebody, you know, being there, taking action, paying attention to the things they like, paying attention to details, paying attention to their favorite color, um, their middle name, the school they went to, where they grew up from, the fact that they like a maple frost frosted donut or the fact that they like fries with no salt or their favorite burger is at smash burger like you know just whatever it can be anything little i'm just giving little scenarios but this was you guys really paying attention to details of making things right fair balance in the relationship and they weren't bringing that back and the reason why is because they never got that so they didn't know how to value and appreciate it that's why the king of swords is here to pay the cup someone childish but now it's like this person is sitting here as a king of swords with their sword up and the pay the cups to me is clarifying this because it's like they're thinking to themselves like damn if i wasn't so childish if my childhood wasn't so fucked up or if i didn't make all these mistakes or if i didn't do this and i expressed my feelings a little bit more or gave into the relationship and stopped being so manipulative then maybe some of these fights and arguments that we had wouldn't have been so bad because the five of wands is them seeing you as oh we're two different people we want two different things we see life totally different or we just can't seem to get along Okay, so the sword is up because this person is really thinking back on their actions. They're thinking about how they treated you in this relationship. And that's why this two of swords is here. They have to make a choice. But even if you don't deal with this person or not, the two of swords is them needing to make a choice to, to better themselves. You've done the work. So I'm looking at it from both sides. I gave an example from how you guys are and where they're at right now. Why is this two of swords here? The magician. They're trying to manifest a lot. This person is trying to be creative. They're trying to be in their power. But there is a delay here. Why is there a delay? Because this person needs to first realize that they've been selfish and manipulative in this relationship and situation. And they need to put that down. You know, like with this four of swords, they need to let go of being selfish and manipulative. In order for them to take action and for there to be any type of justice or anything to wrap up karmically. Three of pentacles and a justice card. Okay, so this person really needs to sit and see what they've done. That's why the King of Swords is here. So for some of you guys, I feel like that person is coming in. They're communicating. For some of you guys, this person is not. For some of you guys, the communication is, eh, it's on and off. But it's like the more they talk to you or the more they communicate with you, the more they feel bad, the more they feel sorry, the more they feel stuck in this Two of Swords. So that's why a lot of them aren't really communicating with you guys as much or really opening up and saying much because they're sitting in their sorrows now. Like they know they've done you so wrong or they like they know that you have like you deserve better. They know you deserve better than what they they offered or gave you. OK, so let's clarify. Let's see what we got. Messages for Friday, December 28th through the 30th. So, yeah, they know, you know, so and it's like they know what they have to do to fix it. I'm only going to clarify a few of these cards, but, um, yeah, they know what they did. So let's see. Why is justice here? Clarify justice, please. Why is the justice card here? Look what we have. The star. So I love it. Some of you guys can be like, um, Aquarius and Libra energy. We have Leo energy. We have, well, we have all the elements out here. I'm looking at the major arcana. I said all the elements. We have all the signs. I'm looking at the major arcana. Okay, but we have the star here. We have justice. Okay, this person wants to renew all this person wants to be with you. This person is realizing the connection now. Okay, um, this person is hoping and wanting something, you know, just different this time. This person is planting a seed, working on himself. But look what we have. We have the six of pentacles here reversed. And what did I tell you guys before with the magician? They're trying to manifest something, but they're blocked. Why? Because the six of pentacles is in reverse. This person is still kind of selfish, still kind of needy, still one-sided, okay? And that's what they need to overcome in order for this relationship to work. So the star is the star is where they want justice at. They want justice with you. They want balance and justice with you. And that's why the star is there. So let's look at um, this... Um, Let's look at this King of Swords and this Page of Cups energy. Why is the King of Swords here in the Page of Cups? Yep, see the King of Cups in reverse. See, this person was very manipulative. This person manipulated this relationship emotionally. Took advantage of the relationship emotionally. 
ran when you guys had problems, couldn't handle problems and issues. This person also had a hard time expressing their emotions and feelings. And this person, you guys might be dealing with a cancer sun sign or a cancer rising person who had issues growing up or they're in this cancer and Capricorn um, node right now because that King of Cups is there. But the King of Swords is in the upright page of cups because this person wants to offer emotions. This person wants to balance their emotions with you. Like, they want to learn how to love and nurture you the way that you've always loved and nurtured them. That's what I feel like they're going through right now. That's why that Six of Pentacles came up in reverse. They need to stop being so selfish and so needy and make it about both of you guys and not just about them. Why is this King of Cups in reverse? Yep, see the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay? So, it's letting me know that this person is stubborn. This person failed to communicate their feelings and emotions towards you. They blocked you out emotionally with the Page of Swords in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. This person caused blockages in this relationship. The relationship lacked direction due to their failed promises. All right? And them communicating to you, telling you what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, and not following through. Okay? And, yeah. And then we had this Ace of Cups there. It was, the card had flipped all the way over. So, this person is dealing with emotional issues. Learning how to be emotional. Learning how to open up emotionally. Let me go back to the star. Why is the star here? Because it's like the star is here telling me that the universe is telling them like they can fix this situation if they heal and if they plant a new seed, you know, they can fix this. But let's go back and see. For some of you guys, this star is new love coming into your life, okay? The star is a new person. It's new love because you guys are going to walk away from this. See, some of you guys were dealing with a cancer. It's a reverse. The chariot. So, they're not ready yet. The star is here saying that this person is healing. This person is realizing what they did in the relationship. That's how justice is there with the three of pentacles. Okay? But the chariot in the reverse is telling me that there's a lack of forward movement right now. Because why? Because this person is healing. They're, they're doing their job. Well, not doing their job. They're doing their part now. So, this person is finally healing and realizing a lot of things in the relationship so that's why things can't move forward with you guys right now or that's why things aren't moving forward but the star is there which means like you're you're a priority to them you're on their mind but it's still not going nowhere they need to come out of this selfish behavior this manipulative energy here someone that's passive aggressive someone that's very emotional like someone that's like this person is like an emotional manipulator very past like passive aggressive like yeah um And I don't, yeah. Mm, give me one more card on this King of Cups in reverse. Let me see. Let me get in their feelings a little bit more. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're doing the work. They're coming to terms with their emotions now. They're dealing with their emotions. Ten of Swords in reverse. So this is them crying a lot. Um, wanting it to be over with. Um, feeling as if they're in some type of difficult situation, having a hard time dealing with it, but they know they have to deal with it to release it, to let it go. A 10 is a completion. And that's when things are going to turn around. That star is them healing. The four of swords is them, like, laying it to rest. Like, you know, um, also healing. Because the four of swords is healing. I'm not even going to say laying it to rest because they can't lay it to rest yet because they need to heal first. So that's why I feel like the communication is, like, slow or slowing down. Or that's why they're not as... Um, Mm, they're not as consistent right now. Why is this four of swords here? Yeah, I see the hermit. They're withdrawing, you know, so that they can heal the situation. Yeah, they're doing the work for sure. So, um, earlier I was saying with this magician, they're trying to manifest things, but it's not working out. It's the, there's a delay with this two of swords here because they need to realize and look at the relationship differently and they need to look at how they were selfish and manipulative in this situation so let's see why is this two of swords here with this magician yep see the knight of swords they cause a lot of trouble in this relationship so they need to fix it they need to put an end to the drama and the conflict if there was someone else in between you guys with that two of swords they need to end that situation they need to step up to that situation or that person to end it and not allow that person to come in between you guys anymore or just put their foot down to certain things in their life. Yeah, I see the four of cups ring first or else it's going to be a missed opportunity, okay? Because I told you guys I see new love coming in. So it's going to be a missed opportunity um, 
for some of you guys because you're just going to turn this person down and move on. Okay? Um, and, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm getting. Um, let's see. Why is the shame card here? Clarify the shame card. Yeah, see, look. We have the emperor. But I feel like this is you guys taking back of like but taking back control of your life. You know, like, the emperor, the empress. Um, and the reason why I say that is because the strength card, remember I told you guys when I first seen this, this is what you guys doing to work. This is where they're gonna meet you halfway at. But it's gonna take a while. Yeah, look, see we have the king of pentacles. You guys do have a past life soulmate connection with this person. This person is gonna come back into your life as the king of pentacles, offer you security and stability, but it's gonna take a while. It's not gonna be something that happens overnight, it's not gonna be something that happens next week, okay? Um, for some of you guys, it might not even happen next month. Why is the emperor here? Two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see, this person is becoming balanced. Right now, I feel like if you guys got together, it wouldn't work out. It would fall back apart. It would be a false start. It would be a false start, like a false reconnect. You know, our things wouldn't come back together. Why? Because that two of pentacles is in reverse. So that's someone becoming balanced and no longer juggling. But I feel like this person isn't all the way together to offer you that emperor energy. This person is taking back control of their life now. Finally, they're starting to do it. You guys already took them back control of your life. Remember, I'm reading it from both sides. So let's see why this sun card is here in this three of swords. The will of fortune in reverse. So this is telling me that you guys aren't going backwards. You guys are not wanting to go back into any more karmic lessons. This person is in the um, will of fortune in reverse because they're stuck or they realize that they kept this relationship stuck and stagnant and it set them back. It, they set back the relationship with that will of fortune. It wasn't going anywhere in reverse. So this person realizes that now. Why is the will of fortune in reverse? Please clarify that, please. Let's see the fool. They, they kept taking risk. They weren't ready. And I feel like this person should have just been honest and told you they weren't ready. They got into a situation that they weren't ready to handle. You were too much of a person for them going into the relationship. But how they see, how they see you or how they seen you, you didn't see yourself as that type of person. They already knew you were too strong for them. You were too much to handle. Look, you, had, you gave up on yourself halfway through the relationship or when the relationship started. Or this was you, like, just giving them all of yourself with the strength card, becoming weak. You know, like, not weak, like, oh, you're a weak person, but just, like, this was someone that was once very strong, but got in a relationship that made them weak. But, like I said, it was due to the fact that you were very compassionate. You were giving them all of you. You know, you were, you were, like, they were a weakness for you. Yep. And you took a, for some of you guys, you took a risk going into this relationship. You risk going into this relationship. For some of you guys, you met this person, you risk going into the relationship, and you've seen the flags in the beginning. But you still took a chance in this relationship. Why is that fool in reverse? Yeah, see, five of pinnacles in reverse. So, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like with this five of pinnacles in reverse, like I said, for some of you guys, they looked at this relationship as like, yes, like, I finally have something that's going to, like, change my life. Or I finally have someone that is, you know, going to take me out the cold or take me out of feeling a certain type of way. But because they were thinking like that, that's how the fool and the will of fortune was in reverse. They went into this relationship being ungrateful and appreciative. And because you kept offering and giving, they felt like um, they weren't being like that, but they were. Okay, the pinnacles, seven of cups. Yeah, see the emperor. They thought they had control. And why? Because the seven of cups, you gave them everything they wanted in the relationship. It doesn't mean you have to you had to give them money and, you know, buy them everything. But the seven of cups to me is someone that is focused on what they want. You know, this is everything they want. Some of you guys are dealing with people that could have been back and forth, you know, that was cheating and lying with this emperor and the seven of cups. But for some for most of you guys, this was a committed relationship. But they were getting everything they wanted. And they were coming in as a page of pinnacles, offering something, building and starting something with you. But they were acting as the emperor, as if they were in control and they weren't. You really were in control of this relationship. But the focus on the relationship was them. You didn't make it about you. You made the relationship about them. And with the Page of Pentacles, they studied and seen that. They were like, oh, okay, well, I'm getting what I want. And I'm not saying it like in a bad way, but like I said, just like the whole donut thing or whatever. And it could have been the little things you were doing. It could have been big things you were doing. Whatever you were doing, they were ungrateful, unappreciative. But you just kept doing things for this person, but you did it out of love. 
and now you're getting your like now you're back in control and now you're focused on what you want and for some of you guys are no longer offering to this situation they're going to come back and offer towards you for others of you you have new love coming into your life okay so let's um pull a oracle from the wisdom of the golden path oracle i love this oracle all right so let's see what we got for today guys let's do a little spirit message for the weekend spirit universe messages for friday december 28th through sunday december 30th uh -oh. we have jade mountain I never seen that one, so let's see what that one's about. All right, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so let's read our message. So we have Jade Mountain, and it says something magical soon occurs, and you feel like celebrating. This gives you time to stop and reflect on all that you have accomplished throughout the year. Look back, and you will realize just how far you've come. Have gratitude for all that you have experienced and for every experience that has served you in some way and has been for the greatest good of all. I'm going to stop there because in the beginning of the reading, guys, what did I tell you guys? I said these last few days, I said, please do your affirmations. Please show gratitude. Please go into the new year positive. Like, I cannot make this shit up. Thank you, universe. All right. So going back. It says, you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So listen to your heart and follow it with wisdom. You will intuitively know when you are on the right path. Close your eyes and quietly celebrate this moment. Be joyful and remember that you can remain joyful regardless of the circumstances you are in. For no matter what, life is beautiful. Perhaps there may be times in your life where your beauty is hard to see. At such times, look within. The internal flame of love is forever aglow within you and will always be. So the affirmations for this card is, I celebrate life. I appreciate each moment. I am grateful for this sacred life and for each breath. The internal flame of love glows forever within me. And that's so crazy because I told you guys in the beginning of the reading, to do me a favor and show gratitude and do your affirmations. Guys, I love you, okay? I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. All right, let that sit in. I'm not going to go over that card. You guys already know what the card means. I told you guys in the beginning of the reading, I love you guys. Let's go into 2019. Strong, beautiful, dope, awesome, amazing. Let's bring in new love, positive vibes, all that good shit, all right? I love you guys, and I will see you probably this weekend because I think I'm going to start up uploading um, January 1st through the 15th. All right? I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.